currently vlogging on my phone because my laptop is using my SD card, but today's day one of Vlogmas, which I told myself I would do and then forgot about until 10 a.m. this morning, so here we are. I'm nervous. I'm nervous doing Vlogmas because I know everyone's been so kind. Like, I will watch anything you upload, but I don't know about that. I basically don't do anything except this which I'm sure y'all appreciate some nice cat content, but I fear nothing substantial is gonna happen for the next 25 days that'll warrant me making this vlog. Today we are doing stuff, so I guess I'm just gonna be a hypocrite. I spent all morning editing my vlog. It's still not done. It's still gonna take a couple hours, but my mom just texted me. She is an hour away. We are going to go get a Christmas tree today, and then she left a bunch of stuff here because we decorated for Christmas at my apartment, so we need to get all that packed up, and that's gonna be something I include in this vlog. A nice little house tour. Festive edition, if you will. We're still loafing. It's still morning time. It's gonna be weird to do a vlog where it's not just about reading because I try and make my vlog super reading focused. And now that I need more content than just one clip a day about how much I'm not reading, it's gonna be sehr interessant. Do you ever just use your cat's tail as a microphone? Because I do all the time. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top down AC with the cold system. <laughs> She's being so nice about it, thank you. So I need to go and make breakfast and put on pants. <laughs> okay, happy Vlogmas everybody. It's that season again. I just spent two hours editing that iMovie crashed and I lost all of it. How does that happen? Literally, iMovie autosaves. Where can I restore from the last autosave? I can't deal with this, I have to get ready. I'm cranky. This vlog is gonna be 90% cranky and 10% Christmas. How far away are you? Half hour away, I'm still at the house. Okay, that's fine. Should I eat lunch before we go? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Did you have breakfast yet? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and eat. Okay, bye. All right. Leftovers day three. Footage so I can re edit my vlog. But family's here. We're gonna go get a Chris cr cr tree. I put on red lipstick because I like it with this turtleneck, and this sweater is a look. Hello, Vogue. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Got me a hot dog, some strawberry, no, berry and vanilla froyo. Very excited, loving it. I couldn't say a bad word in front of her, but fucking mint. What time is it? Meow. Are you hungry? <laughs> Should I get you some dinners? Meow. Okay. Meow. You hungry? Meow. 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 
That's your favorite noise, huh? Sing for me. <laughs> hey, there's two of them. Good girl, smart girl. So I don't know if you know what this looked like before, but I rearranged my living room a little bit. We put the tree in the corner and listen. <laughs> I did a first attempt at the lights and I thought it was kind of good so I was like we only need one strand and then I backed up a little bit and I looked and this is tragic <laughs> so I'm gonna redo that real quick I have all the ornaments and stuff right here story time tonight I was crankety mccrankster this morning I was feeling really grumpy because I lost my video footage Tonight, I was feeling really grumpy because you have lipstick smeared on your face for the rest of this clip. I have this thing installed in my brain that needs to like click uninstall somehow, where because I only have like one weekend of free time before I have to go back to working, I have like this mental block where I'm like, I have to make every hour effective. <laughs> like I don't want to waste any time because that's just one more hour I won't get back in my work week, which like we hate capitalism, so that's why that's a thing. But today I was feeling that a lot because first of all, I edited my previous vlog and lost all of it. But because I had to re-edit an entire vlog, and then today I was like, hey, let's go get a Christmas tree. So my family came out, but then we ended up going to like six different places and my parents went shopping for themselves for like household stuff they need. Like it sounds so selfish and stupid now, but I just was like, I wanted to do my one thing and come home and we decorate as a family, but my dad was rushing to get home. So I was just upset about that. And I feel like I can't film with my family around. Like friends I've kind of gotten in the groove with, like they don't care about my YouTube and my mom doesn't care about my YouTube, it's whatever, but it just, it's, it's people who YouTube know, like it's just a little strange whipping out the camera in front of people. So I wanted to wait till she left. And then I watched TikToks for a half hour and I feel better, which is actually something I wanna reduce doing this month, but I'm not gonna talk about it. I think I'm going to decorate my tree. I have a Target haul of everything that I got today, Target and Aldi. And then I got home today and there was a package from Amazon on my doorstep and I did not order anything. So potential wish list item. One of the things I got today was batteries because I bought this painting, which I wish they could stay up all year round because it's so gorgeous, but this was on clearance at a store and I got it and I love it because you press the button and it lights up. I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna hang this right here on this wall so that right when you walk in, you can just see it first thing when you come. Now that I'm not sweating like a villain, let me let down my hair. Okay. So I went to Target and Aldi and I got stuff and I want to talk about them. Am I going to get bored editing this? Yes. So the biggest thing I got is at work right now, I have a crazy decorated cubicle. It makes me happy. So at work, it's really festive and fun. And I have stockings for each of my coworkers that I fill with something new every day. So I've got a couple cute, fun things to fill. So we got some chocolates that are just in like snowman, Santa shapes. Another set of chocolates that are Santa and reindeer some more Santas. And then I did some damage with Kinder Eggs. So I got one for each of my coworkers. So I got two Star Wars and then two Frozen. <laughs> That's kind of the two themes going on at my workplace right now. Speaking of Frozen, whenever I was shopping today, I was accosted. I need to talk about how much Frozen is taking over my life. <laughs> I love Frozen and I know I'm like the person people make fun of when they're like adults who like Disney are stupid. I love Frozen. Okay, Elsa is my woman. It makes me happy. I watched it when I was in high school so now there's a nostalgic factor to it and it's just so good, so fun, so beautiful and lovely. I have had to have a lot of self-control when shopping because Frozen 2 has its hand around my neck with all the different things they have in stores. Like at Costco tonight, I almost bought a sticker book, a pillow and blanket set. At Target, they had literal like racks and racks of stuff. And I was having to be like, I don't need an Elsa themed tea set. But if you want to get me it for Christmas, <laughs> I wouldn't say no. But there is one thing I could not say no to and I walked out of Target with it and that's a frozen wet brush. This is also a non-paid ad for the wet brush. <laughs> People are like, what does wet brush mean? 
let me tell you. The wet brush is this magical invention. If you have curly hair like me or like really, really tangly hair, especially if you have a sensitive scalp, this will be your best friend. This is my favorite brand of hairbrush. I've used nothing else since I discovered it. And if you brush my hair, I will cry. That's how bad it hurts me. But with these, I'm like, take a rip. Like, I don't care. It doesn't hurt. I don't know what technology it is, but it's the best. And I've used these since high school. And when I saw a Frozen themed one, I lost my marbles. So it's in my cart and in my house. And look how cute. I'm not even mad. First of all, I kind of have a brand at work, as I said, because I decorated. I love Christmas and like decorating and being extra. So I got a necklace of string lights. Let me try this out. <laughs> I have a full light up sweater that you saw in my Vlogmas last year, but I wanted something like this that if I'm not wearing a crazy sweater, I can wear just to remind people it's festive. Yes, uh, that's cute, right? Three bucks, come on. Okay, so then I got this little bag with a palm on it. This was in the $3 section again, and there were like full-sized handbags that looked like this for like $7, and I was this close to getting it. I should have gotten it. And they had scarves for $7. I know I'm just fitting into the stereotype of being a white girl obsessed with Target, but it was so cute. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. I might just end up giving it as a present, because that's what it's for, it has a to and from tag. But I just love this pattern. It's soft, the palm, like get out of town. I love it. And then just following the theme of things I love, I got this canvas gift bag, gift sack, excuse me. If I didn't hate the word sack, I might have defaulted to that term. I don't know if any of you feel this way, but I'm like the gift wrapping connoisseur. Like if anyone doesn't want to wrap something, I'm like, I volunteer. It is my life's destiny to wrap presents. I literally joke that I wish I worked at Macy's seasonally and just be the present wrapping person because I love wrapping gifts so much, which this is kind of counterintuitive because it's putting something in a gift bag and not wrapping it. But still, I love all the different types of gift wrapping. But I thought it was cute, like being a little more mindful of how you wrap things, like if something's weirdly shaped. I don't know, it was $3. Oh, and it says, do not open till December 25th, which I love. And also, we decided that we're gonna have Christmas at my apartment this year, so. I'm going to go all out with presents and wrapping and it's gonna look so cute. Then because I'm boring and an adult, I got some household stuff I need. I got cat litter, which is already in the closet where the cats poop. I got toilet bowl cleaner, cause I do some, I do stinky. I got some sponges. Then I got a car scent. I don't even know what this one smells like. I didn't scratch and sniff it. This was the only seasonal one. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then my family and I are going to like this celebrity horse cutting event. Spoiler alert for people who don't know what horse terminology. We're not cutting open the horses. The horses are fine. Cutting is a type of competition. Long story short, my Yeehaw family is going. We're gonna go all dressed up because we think we're gonna do Christmas pictures the same day. This is a lot of information for you just to know that I bought stick on nails because I wanted to look cute on that day, which I don't use these if you can tell. I'm quite a barehanded lady, so this will be interesting. But my mom and I both got them. We're gonna do it like a little mother-daughter bonding moment. And I forgot, I still have this to unbox. Let me take a sip of my Costco tea. Not Pepsi, not sponsored. This is book size, so I'm pretty sure this is something from my wish list. Is it time to turn this off? I think so, I'm getting distracted. All right, I'm feeling a paperback with a slip, so it is a present. What is it? Oh, oh my God. Shut the front door. This is from Carrie. She said, happy holidays. I love this book, so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for being a gem in my life. I'm so, okay, Carrie, first of all, I would die for you. Thank you so much. I love you more. This is crazy. Wait, okay, so the book I got is The Fever King. If you come to my closet, I have a box of arcs that I can't read because I don't care about them. And this is one I had to put in there unwillingly because I didn't own the first book in this series. But now, because Carrie is a fucking mind reader, this is the first book in the series. That is the most 
perfect gift. I'm so happy. So the only thing I know about this is this is like fantasy dystopian. The main character is the sole survival of a viral magic that killed his family and gave him powers. So since he's the son of undocumented immigrants, he spent his life fighting for rights of refugees from magical outbreak places. And then he becomes part of a rebel group. So magic powers. The only thing I know about this other than that is that it's super diverse. I think the main character is bisexual, probably among other things and definitely with other characters characters involved. So I've had my eye on this for a while and I was super bummed when I got this in the mail and couldn't read it because I don't have the first book and I wasn't planning on buying it anytime soon. So now I have them. <sighs> that is the best ending to a stupid day of me having stupid anger issues. So now I'm gonna put on my Christmas playlist. I have Bluetooth speakers built into my apartment so I'm going to put that through the speakers. I should make Christmas cookies. I have these Christmas tree cookies. I should bake these while I'm waiting. There's not gonna be a bunch of reading in this vlog. Maybe right before bed. I don't know, I still have to edit this, edit yesterday's vlog and get them both up. But I'll give you some Christmas content while I can. Preheat oven to 350. Okay, let's go. Yes, I'm on the toilet, mind your business, but why did this dork drop something in the water? <laughs> He's reaching for it and then drinking the water off his paw. Are you good, fam? Hello? So my camera just died. I need to go plug her in. And I don't know at what point my camera stopped recording, but I walked out and my camera was not doing a time lapse on my tree anymore. So this is where we are, eating the tree. I'm not sure how- No, that's a glass one. I will end your bloodline. I'm not sure how I feel about it. My mom's usually the like pro decorator. I'm gonna kill you. Stop. You're getting too brave. Now that I'm looking at it, there's a lot of blank space right here. Oh, Taylor Swift, don't copyright me. And a lot up here. I'm gonna have to fiddle with it, but here's where we are at the current moment. Gordo's behind there eating plastic. We love to see it. I have a couple pine cones up there. Oh, I have to plug in my lights out here. Got a Christmas pillow and some Christmas lights and candy canes on my balcony. I'm gonna forget to turn those off in the morning. <laughs> I hung up my diploma and I got this keep going sign. I don't know if I should keep that at home or I'll bring it to work. And then I was meaning to display my National Geographics and I finally did that yesterday. Whoops, these need to go in the oven. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Have fun. So up top here, I have some garland. Hopefully the cats will not realize and find that. Then I've got a smaller canvas on this wall. It's hung up with tacks. So it's like hanging off the wall at an angle, but whatever. And it's another one that lights up. So when you have the lights out, she glows. I have a couple things on my counter, but it's very not clean at the moment. This wall is so blank, but I don't know what to put there. There used to be more Christmas stuff on top of here, but the cats already knocked it down. Gordo. Then in my bedroom, I've got a string of lights above my bed like so and then I've got some more garland on top of my bookshelf even though it looks kind of wompy. Hey Jason Momoa! I'm taking off my lipstick because I didn't realize how bad it looked until I just saw myself in my mirror. You're welcome. iMovie's being so slow, I'm about to risk it all to throw my laptop out the window. I'm just trying to post vlogs for my people. So I'm currently waiting for footage to import, but one thing I just decided is that every day this month during Vlogmas, I want to buy one of my followers one of my favorite books. So I just tweeted asking for people's links to their Amazon wish lists, and I said, especially if you have one of my favorite books on your wish list, let me know. Because I want to be a sugar mama like I always am. So right now I'm scrolling through, I don't know this person, this is literally a random person's wish list. And let me see if they have any of my favorite books. If not, we'll just find the cheapest um, one. Oh, 
I spot red, white, and royal blue, baby. That's going in the shopping cart. Ugh, they don't have their address plugged in. I can't. Okay, next person. <laughs> I feel like I just keep going on and on. <gasps> they have the shadow of the wind, but they want a $20 edition. <laughs> Girl, you can get it at a used bookstore for $2. This is, I'm trying to like get into the giving season, and yet I'm here roasting people for what book edition they want. I'm sorry. You can have your $20 edition, but... Someone else can buy it for you. <gasps> they have the Abyss Surrounds Us sold. I'm getting this person the Abyss Surrounds Us. Please have an address connected so I can actually purchase this for you. Well, that would be a no. Poop. Okay, is this my wish list? Whose wish list is this? This is literally like all my favorite books on a wish list. Hello. Like for a second, I thought I was looking at my wish list because there's so many books that I've read and loved on here. I almost want to spoil this person. Okay, I see Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins and that book deserves a Pulitzer. So I'm gonna do that one. I mean these two books, so I got both, but a lucky person is getting two of my favorite books of 2019. Yes. So. Had to take a little break from the season of giving, but I'm gonna get back to editing these vlogs. I wanted to wanted to hurl because my computer is loading so slow. This is how Vlogmas is going for me on day one. 30 minutes till time for bed. And computer is not working. So today I wanted to introduce Vlogmas and talk about the books I'm reading, my TBR, all the good stuff, but I ended up just making it a holiday vlog and then a complaining vlog because I lost a lot of footage and I needed to re-edit. So unfortunately, like six hours of my day was spent on my computer, on iMovie, fiddling with it, so it wasn't that interesting. I can already foresee I'm gonna have about two hours less of sleep per night than I usually do because editing these vlogs is going to be a process. We'll see how soon I give up if I do. Thank God I don't need to shower today, otherwise I'd be struggling right now. Technically it's day two, so I need to end off this vlog. Thank you everyone for watching Vlogmas Day 1. I hope that you're gonna stick along for the ride. If not, bye. <laughs> Let me know what content ideas you have. Let me know if you want me to do Q and A's and stuff. Really anything lifestyle wise that you're interested in seeing from me whenever I'm not focusing so much on like, here is the book I am reading. Now that we have more time, I will definitely do some more ideas if you have them. Fashion videos, um, if you want. I've been laying in bed in the same position for four hours while I edit, so I need to get up. Actually, I need to go to bed, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>